where we took a contract uh, from the army. They wanted a robot that could uh, walk naturally. They wanted to put a suit on the robot and be able to test it in a gas environment. Pushing the boundaries of humanoid robotics for years with the Atlas robot, Boston Dynamics has just ushered in a new era for their next generation bipedal humanoid robot, Atlas. This revolutionary robot ditches the hydraulics of its predecessors for a fully electric system, offering new capabilities in agility, power, and efficiency that are worth talking about. Boston Dynamics just dropped a brand new video showcasing their recent progress, and it continues to blow my mind away. So what is this humanoid robot capable of today, and what will this robot be able to do tomorrow? How much artificial intelligence does this robot really bring to the table? And is there an unintended consequence from the emergence of these AI robots that we should be talking about more? The original Atlas robot, renowned for its impressive parkour abilities, was a marvel of engineering. But let's be honest, those hydraulics had their drawbacks, which didn't quite cut it for real-world applications. Here's the thing about hydraulic systems. They are inherently noisy and sometimes generate a constant hum that interferes with communication and limits their use in sensitive environments. If you've dealt with hydraulic mechanical components, you know that hydraulic fluids can leak or overheat, often requiring frequent maintenance and downtime. You wouldn't want to go through these maintenance processes with a hydraulic robot when there are fully electric robots on the market, right? So what did Boston Dynamics do? Boston Dynamics took these factors into consideration and decided to retire the hydraulic Atlas in favor of an all-electric Atlas robot. This new version ditches the hydraulics for high-performance electric motors, making it significantly quieter and allowing for more seamless human-robot interaction. The electric system also operates cleaner, eliminating the environmental concerns associated with hydraulic fluids. But there has to be an overarching reason Boston Dynamics moved away from the hydraulics, right? Perhaps the most significant benefit of the electric system is its efficiency. Electric motors convert a much higher percentage of energy into useful work compared to hydraulics. This translates to longer operating times on a single charge and lower overall energy consumption. Another notable change I think is worth pointing out is the shift in design. The bulky hydraulic components have been replaced by a sleeker, more streamlined and flexible body. While the exact weight depends on battery choices, the electric system inherently offers the potential for a lighter weight, further enhancing mobility and efficiency in real-world applications. Here's a glimpse of the all-electric Atlas robot handling tasks even more effectively. As demonstrated in the short demo video, the transition to electric motors has unlocked a new level of agility for the electric Atlas. And sure, Boston Dynamics is responsible for the development, but who's bringing in the financing? Who's pushing this innovation over at Boston Dynamics? Hyundai. Yep, you heard that right. Hyundai has a very similar vision to Boston Dynamics pertaining to the future of humanoid robots. This transition began with Hyundai's investment in Boston Dynamics. In addition to investing in the Atlas project, the Hyundai team is building the next generation of automotive manufacturing capabilities, which will serve as a perfect testing ground for new Atlas applications. In the months and years ahead, we can expect to see what the world's most dynamic humanoid robot, Atlas, can really do in the lab, in the factory, and in our lives. Boston Dynamics will be partnering with a small group of innovative customers, starting with Hyundai, to test and iterate Atlas applications over the next few years. This is the first look at a real product, but it certainly isn't the last. Unlike the hydraulic system, which had limitations in joint control, electric motors offer precise and independent control of each limb. This translates to a wider range of motion and smoother, more human-like movements. That's why in this demo video, the robot can pick up objects almost effortlessly. The electric Atlas can now run at faster speeds with improved balance and stability. Jumping becomes effortless, allowing the robot to navigate uneven terrain with ease. Picking up and manipulating objects is also significantly enhanced, with the fine-tuned control of electric motors allowing the robot to grasp objects with greater precision and gentleness. But don't let that sleek design fool you. You think you can outbench the Atlas robot? Check this clip out before you answer that question. You see how effortlessly the Atlas lifts that dumbbell? That's just a hint of its capabilities. Compared to its predecessor, the electric Atlas boasts a significant boost in lifting capacity. We're talking heavier objects, folks. Imagine the robot effortlessly lifting heavy machinery in a construction zone or assisting with the assembly of massive structures in a factory. But the applications go beyond the traditional. This increased force output allows the electric Atlas to tackle demanding tasks. It could clear debris in disaster zones, assist firefighters in battling blazes by maneuvering heavy equipment, or even help with search and rescue in rugged terrain. 
We've seen the impressive hardware and power of the Electric Atlas, but Boston Dynamics isn't just about building strong robots. Beyond delivering industry-leading hardware, some of Boston Dynamics' most exciting progress over the past couple of years has been its software, and the Electric Atlas is no exception. In addition to decades of expertise in simulation and model predictive control, they have equipped their robots with new AI and machine learning tools, like reinforcement learning and computer vision, to ensure they can operate and adapt efficiently to complex real-world situations. Also impressive is the recently launched Orbit software, which provides a centralized platform to manage the entire robot fleet, site maps, and digital transformation data. Today, it's available for Boston Dynamics' quadrupedal robot, Spot, but soon, Atlas will also be integrated into this enterprise solution. And with a robust team of machine learning experts shaping products, Boston Dynamics is prepared to bring impactful AI to market immediately. They've already started with Spot, and it will get even better and faster with Atlas. The Atlas robot also boasts other impressive capabilities which makes it even more useful in real-world applications. Equipped with advanced sensors, this provides the robot with a detailed perception of its surroundings. Cameras and LiDAR, or light detection and ranging technology, allow it to build a 3D map of its environment, while depth sensors provide information about objects and obstacles. This sensory data is then fed into a sophisticated AI system, the robot's brain. The AI processes the information, allowing the Electric Atlas to make decisions in real time. It can navigate complex terrain, avoid obstacles, and even adapt to changing situations. With the state-of-the-art hardware and the latest AI software technology, do you know where Boston Dynamics wants to see this immediately used? The perfect use case scenario for the Electric Atlas could be working alongside firefighters in a burning building. In this case, the robot can use its sensors to map out the fire's location and navigate through smoke and heat, in turn assisting firefighters in extinguishing the blaze. Or in a manufacturing plant, intelligently adapting its movements to different tasks and seamlessly collaborating with human workers. Now, with any disruptive technology, what is the biggest concern that is on everyone's minds these days? While the advancements of the Electric Atlas are undoubtedly impressive, one major concern is the potential for these robots to replace human workers. In industries like manufacturing and construction, the deployment of such advanced robots could lead to significant job displacement, which might exacerbate unemployment and economic inequality. The Silicon Valley effect, where rapid technological advancements lead to societal disruptions, is something we need to consider. Addressing these concerns, robots like Atlas aren't designed to replace humans, but to work alongside us. With its enhanced agility, strength, and intelligence, the robot can take on tasks that are dangerous, strenuous, or repetitive. This allows humans to focus on higher-level cognitive tasks, fostering a more collaborative and productive work environment. Needless to say, the Electric Atlas is equipped with robust safety features which helps it detect human presence and adjust its movements accordingly, ensuring a safe working environment. But there are also ethical implications to consider especially regarding the use of robots in military applications. The Unitree B1, a robot resembling Boston Dynamics' quadrupedal spot, has already been used in military contexts. This raises concerns about whether the recent developments with the Atlas robot might also be adopted for military purposes. The integration of AI and robotics into military operations could lead to scenarios where robots are making life and death decisions, which underscores the urgent need for clear ethical guidelines and regulations governing the use of AI. Moreover, there is the ever-present fear of AI taking over the world. While this might sound like science fiction, the idea of AI becoming sentient and making decisions autonomously is a concern that many experts take seriously. Ensuring that AI systems remain under human control and are used ethically is crucial to prevent unintended consequences. The idea of robots like the Atlas becoming commonplace is no longer science fiction. The question isn't if, but how they'll integrate into our lives. What does a future hold where intelligent robots collaborate with humans in factories and industrial settings, or one where an Atlas robot swiftly comes to the rescue during a fire outbreak? In the comments below, let's discuss. Do you see robots like the Atlas as valuable partners in the workplace, augmenting human capabilities and tackling dangerous tasks? Or are you concerned about job displacement and the potential impact on our workforce? Let's hear your thoughts. Haven't seen our video where we delved into the military application of the quadrupedal robot Unitree B1 with a submachine gun mounted on its back? Then you definitely need to check it out.